All right, families, well, let's talk about self-control for just a minute. You know, the Bible says that all of us are supposed to have self-control. Self-control just means being in charge of your emotions, thoughts, words, and actions. It means doing what God wants us to do rather than what we want to do. It means responding to people the way God wants us to respond to people. Now, it's not always easy to have self-control. Think about some of these situations. What would you do if someone had just taken your favorite toy from you? Maybe someone's just called you a mean name and hurt your feelings and now they're laughing at you. Maybe you just received some discipline from one of your parents and now a brother or sister is smiling behind mom's back. Would it be easy or would it be hard to be self-controlled in those situations? The truth is, sometimes it's hard for us to be in charge of our emotions or our reactions, especially when we're facing a challenging situation. But there is something we can do in that moment to exercise self-control. In the Old Testament, in the Bible, there's a great story of a man who was able to exercise self-control. His name was Joseph, and he faced a lot of challenging situations. His brothers sold him into slavery. While he was there, he spent time in prison. He was accused of crimes that he didn't commit. And then finally, towards the end of his life, when he was in charge and when he had lots of power, he had an opportunity to get revenge on those who had hurt him. And still, he exercised self-control. And here's why. Over and over throughout the story of Joseph, the Bible tells us that God was with Joseph. Joseph was able to have self-control because God was with him, even in those difficult situations. The same is true for us. So the next time that you're in a situation where you feel like you might lose control of your words or your reaction, just remember, God is with you. Ephesians 1.13 says, And when you believed in Christ, He identified you as His own by giving you the Holy Spirit, who He promised long ago. What that means is that when we trust Jesus, the Bible says that He sends the Holy Spirit to live inside of us. And one of the things that God's Spirit does is help us to maintain self-control. In fact, self-control is one of the fruits of the Spirit. Galatians 5, and 23 says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are things that God does in us. Those are things that God helps us to do. So when you're facing a challenging situation, remember, God is with you. Take a minute now and have a great conversation about self-control. Use these questions as a way to start your conversation.